Thanks, Alicia. You know, it is the month of June, and that means U.S. Open. And one of the things that golfers at the U.S. Open are going to have to contend with are tight lies and a lack of green to work with. Today we're going to work on a shot that's going to help you with those small pin placements and having to get over large things like a bunker, the flop shot. With the flop shot, we want to make sure we have a lot of loft in our club. I have here a 58 degree wedge, and we want to make sure that our body is aligned to the left of our target. I'll step to my golf ball, I'll align myself to the left of the target, and I'll open my club face up. This will give us enough loft to get over any obstacles that might be our way, but save us from having our ball run off the back of the green. Next thing we want to do is make sure our swing comes up to a 90 degree angle, just like this. This position here will allow us to come down to the golf ball at an angle that gives it its maximum amount of spin. As we come through the ball, we want to make sure we get to this position as quick as possible. One of the big mistakes I see a lot of golfers make is they take their flop shot with a lack of swing speed and a lack of distance. So they'll come to about here and not swing all the way through. That's going to cause the golf ball to go thin into the sand trap or into the obstacle or fly off the back of the green. So remember, we want to swing up to this 90 degree angle and get to this position as quick as possible. So I'll line myself up to the pin, open the club face, take my swing back, and follow through. Just like that. So that's our flop shot. If you can add this swing to your golf game, you're going to see your scores drop. A happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. And as always, if you have any additional golf questions, see your local PGA professional.